back in week one. The Ravens dominated their first matchup against the Browns. Can Cleveland get revenge? The answer comes your way next on Madden NFL 22. We are just a stone's throw away from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as we get set for football at First Energy Stadium in Cleveland, Ohio. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The dog pound in full roar as their Browns emerge from their tunnel. And they're ready to go as they get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. They'll look to throw here on first down. Flushed out right. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. It's caught inside the 25. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 75 yards. And the Ravens on just two plays have taken the lead. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And we knew that this offense was going to try and put pressure on the second. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they are trying to create some separation within the division. And look, CD, I know that this is still the first half of the season, but this is a big matchup no matter where it falls because these are the top two teams right now in that division. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. So this offense will head back out there. Already an excellent field position thanks to the interception. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And a dangerous throw there from the drop-off. Incomplete, nearly intercepted. So Charles, you know, offensively, this group really playing at a high level, 7-0. We're still a long ways from discussing a potential unbeaten season, I think. But to use a golf expression, no blemishes on the card, at least to this point. Yeah, unlike my, my teenage years where there were blemishes everywhere, the dermatologist was on speed dial. But I do think that they're going to have to start answering questions about this start if they keep winning games. You and I both know, we in the media, we'll start to obsess about it and wonder, can they take it all the way to an undefeated season? That's complete left side to Bateman. 
And he'll get this to the 30-yard line before crossing over out of bounds. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. And this one nearly picked off. Well, kind of surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but get away it does, and it's second down. They'll look to throw again. He'll find Dobbins out of the backfield. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. They scored touchdowns on drives one and two. And now they're trying to make it a perfect three for three to start. Again, he'll drop to throw. Got a man. It's caught. For a Ravens touchdown. So the football will be at the 25-yard line as this offense gets set to take over. Now a play fake here on first down. On the move to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. I think you'd agree that looked like the right call from up here. No doubt about it. What everyone has to understand is that the officials are going to be right on the play each and every time. You may not like the call, but they're usually spot on. Escaping the pressure right. Now he's going to throw deep right side. This is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. J.K. Dobbins. His third touchdown now on the year. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. Quite a show of arm strength right there. That was in the air for a long time, and it was on target, too. And I tell you from our broadcast booth, because we're pretty close to the 50, we had the best view, a bird's eye view of that throw. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now, but let's face it, all of our friends. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman, his 25th touchdown. Tying Emmett Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Ravens are able to show off their quick strike ability. But for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full. This offense has been humming right along. They've been scoring a lot of points here in the first half. We'll see if they can add more to their total. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He'll buy some time right. Out right, this is Boyle, the tight end. And in for the Ravens, touchdown. Nick Boyle, 83 yards. And the Ravens are able to widen their lead here in this first half. They have really had their way so far in the first half, but they wanted to continue to build on their lead. They know that no lead is safe in this league, so they decided to try their best to get one more as they headed into the half, and they got it done. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And with a three-score lead already, this is not time for a momentum change, so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And that's caught inside the 30. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Rashad Bateman as the first half is winding down. And the Ravens will extend their lead here just before halftime. 
One play, 80 yards. Pretty easy drive to recap. <laughs> it certainly is. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They go play action here on first down. Steps away. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. He's got a man complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. Well, you had all halftime to think about what you wanted to do to start the second half. They came out with a big one. Does that not beg the question? What was happening in the other locker room at halftime? Was that the one play they didn't cover as a possibility? Because they just gave up a big, big gain. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Out to his left. Wide open receiver complete. Touchdown. Jacob Breeland, his second touchdown on the season. And the Ravens come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. As a general rule, quarterbacks don't want to lock in on a receiver before the ball is snapped. But in this case, based on the matchup he thought he was going to get, it was favorable for his tight end. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Still well in control of this ball game, despite giving up that touchdown a moment ago. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Buying time to his left. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. These two teams met in Baltimore, you might remember earlier in the year with the Ravens winning that game. So they'll be looking for the win here in Cleveland to complete the season sweep. Steps away to his left. Now he's going to let it go deep back over the middle. And got his man complete. And they finally get him, but not before he reaches the 33-yard line. We have seen big plays from both quarterbacks throughout this game, and there's another one right there going back and forth, almost like two excellent guitar soloists trying to top each other with each additional play. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. They'll set up a throw. He's going deep for Brown. And that'll be caught. Touchdown, Ravens. It's Hollywood Brown. Marquise Brown, 33 yards, and the Ravens add on. And this is obviously quite a performance in most of The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. They are just putting things together so well here, drive after drive. They really have captured the momentum, haven't they? They've taken momentum and pretty much not just give him a jersey, but a seat on the bench as well. Whatever do you need, you've got it, because the way they're stringing things together and creating that distance between them and their opponent, it's really hard to narrow that gap. And the other part is they're taking their spirit away from them, too. Yeah, now they're just looking to add to that total. On play action, they'll throw. Forced out to his left. Oh, he'll try and throw it deep to the other side of the field. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Here we go. Here and we go. all the way down to the 36-yard line. It's a big play there for Baltimore. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mike 19, Mike 19. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And now he'll let this one go deep, back over the middle. And oh, that nearly their first pick of the game, but it falls down to the ground incomplete. 
I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. And he's taken down. This will be a Brown sack. Jadevian Clowney in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Back to throw here. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. After what they faced during this game, where they've given up a ton of yards downfield, there has to be a measure of revenge right there for the secondary. They've been shredded throughout the game and finally forced an incompletion. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Rolling to his left. And now he'll let this one go deep. Back over the middle. Complete at the one. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 42 yards. And the Ravens add on to their lead. And it's looking like that win streak is going to extend another week. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And this team continues to stake its claim as Super Bowl favorites. They are now eyeing an eighth straight win as they begin this drive here in the fourth quarter. Back to throw now on first down. Eluding the pressure right. Now he's going to throw it deep to the other side of the field. He's got it with the 15. And all the way in for a Ravens touchdown. Rashad Bateman with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year. And the Ravens are poised to move to 8-0 as they extend their lead even further. But sometimes you just got to marvel at how these guys can throw the football. He gave that everything he had, and it was right on the money. And from The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And it's all but certain that this win streak is going to extend another week. Just another tremendous performance in this one. They'll look to throw now on first down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. He's got a man complete. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Sammy Watkins. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Ravens are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. When you start at your own 20, oftentimes defenses play you for the run. They stack the line of scrimmage. They decided, let's not run into that mess. Let's get outside, get to the perimeter, go high, wide, and handsome. <laughs> So now this offense will take over and they will have the football at their own 20 yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air, escaping the pressure right. Going deep here for Watkins. They've got his man complete. And he will get into the end zone. It's another touchdown. This thing is ugly. Well, they just continue to roll. And, Charles, for you and I, we want the close games, but for them, it has to be so nice to enjoy this big cushion. I can't remember the last time we saw them play this loose and have this much fun. I think they'd love to be able to capture this game, carry it with them from week to week, and be able to execute like this and all the rest. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. fairly easy last time. They can't expect that going forward. Yeah, we'll see if it's that easy here. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that's caught inside the 35. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown.
touchdown as they just add to their totals. taken a knee there but they decided to play this one all the way out and I think their philosophy is we're going to give you everything we the Raven offense set at the line for this next drive they have the dream scenario you hope for coming into the game just one kneel here and this game should be over and it's always the final play of preparation each week the practicing of the kneel down formation the victory formation we've got a game in hand and that's all they're going to want to do. He's got it in, in. complete. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And I'm really not sure what was more impressive about that throw. Was it the distance travel or the accuracy involved? Because I'm going to tell you straight up, when you're trying to hit a guy in stride that far downfield, Well, in this one, partner, we had some action all the way down to the final whistle there with the late points and then the kickoff to end it. Yeah, and the best part about it is just seeing how teams battled all the way to the end, you know. Didn't really matter. Scoreboard was pretty well set, but they still competed until the final whistle. So for Baltimore, they continue to cruise as they move to 8-0 now on the campaign. And they'll return home next week to take on the Cincinnati Bengals. Meanwhile, for Cleveland, they'll lose an important one here as that drops them to 5-4 and four on the season. And they'll look to regroup next week as they head to L.A. to take on the Rams. <laughs> 